hello everyone welcome back to another video so recently i was getting a lot of comments regarding the topics which i know as an expert on code forces and also the resources which i followed to learn those topics and uh, practice which i did to master that specific topic so in this video i will try to answer all those questions and before um, moving on to topics let me just introduce myself for new viewers so i am aniket i am from third year and till this is the progress of my cp till now so i am an expert on code forces i have a highest rating of 1700 similarly i am five star on code chef as you can see and also around at, at almost 2400 on lead code so this will give you idea about my progress till now in CP. So let's just start with the topics. So first, while starting CP, you should know some uh, basic programming language. Now uh, I started with C++. So I learned basic C++, uh, C++ basics like data types and uh, conditionals, loops, etc. So additionally to that I also learned about uh, how to estimate time complexity and so I learned C++ so that I can do computer programming specifically. So I also learned about the online judge constraints, integer overflow and stuff which was more related to CP and for that I followed this playlist. Uh, so this is love cpitch playlist and this is a very uh, good start for uh, doing cp so if you see the first 10 videos are basically the basics of c++ and also uh, understanding the time constraints of online judges so this is a basic introduction to your cp journey so this was a great resource I, which I used and I, I have used this resource for multiple purposes uh, for other topics also so let's just move on to second category so after basics you should know uh, STL and how to use uh, various data structures like vector stack queue so STL is basically standard template library in C++ in Java there is collection frame and so in that you must know this uh, five data structures I these five data structures are important first is vector then stack queue set and map now in uh, queue there is priority queue DQ so you should know how to use them again and in set there is unordered set ordered set plus multi set so you should know all all those three and how to use them and also unordered and ordered maps and you should also know the how to iterate through each of these data structures so the additional topic is iterators so you should have uh, you should know how to use all these data data structures smoothly and for this uh, there uh, this playlist is enough uh, this also contains uh, structures pair vectors vector pairs then set stl maps so again you can use this you can follow this playlist only and for uh, solving for, for problem solving what you can do is there is a website called as CSES. You just go into uh, this sorting and searching. So some problems in this are from uh, sorting uh, for the topic sorting. So basically, you need to sort the array and solve some problem. So you can follow this uh, playlist, uh, this uh, problem set and also you can start solving introductory problems so these problems are very uh, basic level problems based on this 
based on STL and basic programming logic. So you can solve this. After this, uh, for CP basically you need uh, some math knowledge. And so uh, in number theory, you should basically uh, you should know number systems like prime numbers, composite numbers, and how to take how to calculate GCD and LCM of uh, two numbers. So there is an algorithm called as Euclidean algorithm. So you should know that, and based on GCD, you can just calculate LCM. Similarly, there is uh, an algorithm for pre-computing prime numbers. So uh, you should also know this algorithm. Then there is modular arithmetic and binary exponential. Now for this topic, uh, there is a great website as CP algorithms. Now this website can be used for all the topics, but first uh, you need to go to algebra section, and here there are all the topics which I mentioned in this uh, PPT. So you can just learn them now. For this topic, uh, videos instead of video, I will prefer this documentation because in basically it is math, so we need to prove some solutions. So this documentation is enough if for understanding these topics. But still, if you want to watch a video, you can watch Utkarsh Gupta's video. So it is a one-hour video. Of, regarding only match topics and for solving problems again on CSCS problem set there is a section for mathematics and you can solve this try to solve these problems now uh, this might be difficult uh, for at the start so you can also start solving problems on code forces so there you can add this tag of number theory and so there is yes so there is tag as number theory so just add that tag or you can also add math tag and solve such problems and next topic is so number theory and maths are different in maths uh, there is combitronics so in computronics basically there is uh, your basic permutation and combination so for this I didn't uh, learn anything new I just revised some of my previous notes uh, from 11 12th and for this again you can try to solve the problems from CSES and there is a computronics tag on code forces you can use that and at coder also has a lot of great uh, computronic questions so just search at coder and computronics you will get a tag and you can just solve those problems and next topic is binary search now binary search is one of the most important topic so learning theory is easier in binary search but uh, solving understanding various problems and understand in a problem understanding that this question is of binary search is very difficult which will require you to solve a lot of problems so you can learn this binary search basics then you should know how to use upper bound and lower bound on set vector map multi set stuff uh, all those data structures and after that you also need to solve a lot, of, a lot of problems on binary search on answer so these two things are different uh, you will understand it as you solve more problems and for this again there is uh, there are some videos on binary search in this playlist you can watch it watch that or you can just follow uh, priyansh agrawal's uh, video there are two videos i guess on binary search so you can just follow them and use uh, for solving again CSES problem set here there is sorting and searching so as you can see I have also solved many problems here so you can use this
and next topic is bit manipulation so in bit manipulation there are basically some common techniques which you need to understand and have basic knowledge of AND or ZOR on basis of this they, there are common techniques like how to find uh, if a number is a power of 2 in O of 1 so these kind of techniques you should know now there is no playlist which will explain all those common techniques you have to solve more problems and grasp those common techniques and if you say uh, for practicing these contests i will say core chef contest may generally contains at least one question on binary numbers or bit manipulation so i have given a, lo a lot of contest on code chef and almost in every contest there will be a question on binary numbers so you can use code chef for this practice bit manipulation questions and till now i think these topics are enough to reach a re rating range of 1400 to 1500 on code forces and while doing these topics ob obviously you have to solve a difficulty range problems so if if you are in first and second slide of this uh, ppt you should solve i think 800 to 1000 problem if uh, the problems of number theory generally comes in 1000 to 1200 or above them also similarly combitronics 1300 to 1400 and above also and binary search uh, normal binary search questions will come on 1200 to 1400 and binary search on answers answer question adds range 1400 to 1600 similarly bit manipulation depending on the question but generally 1300 about 1200 1300 so if you uh, understand all these topics and uh, practice more you can easily reach a uh, rating range of 1400 to 1500 and uh, while solving these problems these are the common techniques which i learned now these are not topics these are common techniques so you wouldn't find any specific playlist for this or tutorial for this type of techniques you just need to understand them while solving problems so most common is prefix suffix sum so there uh, there is a category of questions called as ad hoc ad hoc type problems so in that question in that uh, type of questions prefix suffix sum is a uh, very common technique then there is sliding window two pointer technique and also greedy problem greedy problems is so these are techniques which will require a lot of practice greedy the greedy is probably the toughest uh, topic here so for uh, you should have a uh, idea about these techniques if you are solving up if you are at a range 1400 to 1500 now after this you can start with dynamic programming so i first learned all standard dp problem and i as i solved more problems i moved on to bit masking dp with bit mask dp with dig, uh, digit dp and dp on trees all those topics and at the start i followed this aditya verma dp playlist now uh, he covers most of the standard dp problems and also uh, uh, teaches you with the recursion and backtracking background so it is easier to understand and for practice again there is css section uh, if you see dynamic program as you can see i have solved most of the problems here so you can you you can use this and these are also very related to standard problems with smaller modification so you can relate any dynamic programming problem with one of the problems in css set so that's how much good this 
uh, problem set is and there is also add coder dp contest which you can use now after this i started learning graphs and in graphs till now i know basic dfs bfs connected components how to detect cycles and a single pair single pair shortest path and then all pair shortest path so I know these topics and I learned these topics from Stivers DP playlist. But I I've also used this CP algorithm website. There is graph section also here. So it contains all the subtopics like single pair shortest path, single source shortest path, all pairs shortest path, cycles, uh, LCA and Dijkstra's algorithm, etc and uh, for solving again there is graph algorithms section on css problem set and uh, also i got uh, a lot of questions on problem solving which ladder to use and uh, which ladder to use and how to use it so basically i use these two ladders one is c2oj and other is acd ladder and as, as you have seen i have used this css problem set a lot and i also sometimes just solve randomly questions so you can use any of this as long as you are uh, solving difficult problems than your current rating so it doesn't matter how which question from which question you will solve you just need to solve uh, higher difficult problems from your rating so if I am 1700 I will practice 1800 or 1900 so that is more important and so basically I covered all the topics which I know and from where I learned it so if still if you have any doubts you can just put it in comment section I will definitely reply and thank you for watching